Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video on survival multiplayer with Dagoe. If you remember last episode, we were clearing this island of trees, preparing it for um, cultivating and planting a new field. Um, so yeah, all of this area here is going to be one field. Got the cultivator over there by the other island of trees, ready to go. But first of all, we do need to remove these stumps. There's quite a few stumps here, so I did have a quick go at removing a few um, in the previous episode but there's a lot more to go out yet. But we have fortunately managed to get rid of all of the logs now. All the logs are sold, so it is just a case of removing stumps now, and then we'll get on with the uh, field creation, which is the exciting part, I suppose. Because it means we'll be able to plan out our new field and uh, get the crop in the ground. I'm not sure how far we're going to get today, but it would be nice to think we could get a uh, crop planted in this field today, in the new field. It shouldn't take me too long to remove these stumps, there's not that many, there's uh, probably, what is it, about 5 or 10 minutes work here, I'm not, I would have thought. Um, so I'll get on with that on the time lapse, and then we will start the cultivation. that didn't take quite as long as I thought. Uh, it's about four minutes I think to do that. Um, I left the stump grinder there on the wheel weight, or the, or the front weight sorry, um, put them there just in case we have missed any stumps and in case we do some more tree work in this area which we probably will do. I just think some of this island here might go at some point um, but not a priority right now because I want to get the uh, cultivating done now on this new area. So I'll start here I think I will leave a bit of a gap between this field and that field because uh, that one's obviously a different field. I don't want to join them up because that one's already big enough, I think. But we will now start cultivations in this area. So I've set it to uh, field creation now on the cultivator and we'll just go around the, uh, the outside of the field now, marking out exactly where we want to have the field and the shape. Just leaving a bit of a grass margin there in the middle to keep them separate. So you can pretty much already see where we're going to go with this is where I mowed. That's our boundary basically. The mowed area, the slightly shorter grass, that's that's what we own. And uh, if it's long grass we don't own it. Except of course for here in front of me now because that's where the trees were. That's why that's longer. So I didn't know where the trees were. We probably could take a couple more trees down. We don't own all of these trees here, but we do own probably one or two more. So we could in the future possibly take them down to make it a bit more, give a bit more space around the edge of the field, but we don't own all of those trees. Our boundary is basically where the uh, the long stuff is, the long weeds, that's not ours. The short bit where I've painted the ground is ours. So I'm just going to go as close to the trees as I can. Like I say, they might be taken down in the future, so uh, it doesn't really matter if we go close to those. And then you can see where I painted this little bit here. That's our boundary there, our line. So we'll follow that down now to this island here. I'll just check actually on the map, I don't want to go wrong here. Um, just make sure it is a straight line. Yes, yeah, so if we follow a straight line now to the island, that should work, hopefully. So let's go in a straight line until we get to these trees and then we'll go back across to that island there and then that'll be a nice sort of rectangular shaped field. As I said in the previous episode, the other side of this plot that we've got, the new plot, is going to probably stay as grass. We might cultivate it up and uh, drill grass though to give it a bit, a bit of a better yield. Right, so now we're going to go across here and join up with where we started and that's going to be a rough sort of rectangular shaped field. There's Dago in, he's got the log trader on again so he must be doing some more logging. Not sure exactly what he's doing, doing but 
where he knows what he's doing. Right, and then, uh, yeah, so here we'll just follow this line round and try and look up with where we started. And there we go, that's our, our new field. This will be the arable field. I'll get on with this cultivating now on a time lapse, I think. It'll be a bit easier to watch in time lapse all, it's quite a slow job doing cultivating. And uh, yeah, then we'll get, get it drilled, I think. Or oh, it'll need a uh, soil sampling first, though, of course, and uh, lime spreading. So we don't want to forget to do that before we do start drilling. The uh, fast telehandler will need to be moved out of the way as well when I get around there again, so that's going to get in the way. I can do that on time lapse. So uh, yeah, I'll speak to you in a bit. Right, so that is pretty much our field completed then. That's what it's going to look like once it's uh, drilled. It, that's the shape we've got anyway. Just got one little more bit to go back and get once we've done this strip here, and then that'll be done. So the next job after this will be to get the soil sampler and make sure that we've got the soil samples in for this field, and then we can get it drilled. We'll need lime as well, um, but that actually can be done after drilling doesn't really matter. I suppose, I suppose it makes more sense to do it before drilling, actually, but it uh, doesn't really make a lot of difference. There we go, so that's the field completed. So we'll fold this cultivator up and take this back to the yard. We won't be needing it again now, for this field anyway. Um, so yeah, this is going to stay grass for now. We may cultivate it up and uh, drill it with grass. But I think at the moment, until the, some of the more of the trees are taken down, there's not a lot of point just cultivating such a small area. There will be a bit of a benefit to it, but I think it's best if you have a bigger area to do. Also, it would be nice to extend this track now that we've uh, got a new route through to that new area. So we could put a track in there, like a little turning junction, and go around there. That would be a bit better. The Ford isn't getting used that much, so I'm thinking possibly in the future we could sell that and buy a more conventional tractor. Reasonably high horsepower, medium or large tractor. Hopefully with GPS on it as well, because I do like this GPS. You will have noticed there I was using it possibly. For doing things like that, it's, it really makes life a lot easier. Ah, oh, here's Dagowin. He's got the mower on, so he's probably going to mow this grass field again. The sheep are okay for hay at the moment, but it wouldn't hurt to do a bit more hay, possibly. But it'll probably do silage, since we're coming up to uh, the best month for silage, which is about November, December time. I think he's probably been harvesting that field there. Yes, it has been harvested. Yeah, he's been doing that while I was doing this field. So yeah, we'll drop the cultivator off here and then we'll pick up the soil sample, which is actually behind the lime spreader, so we could take both, actually. Since I'm going to have to put the lime spreader on to get to this soil sample, we could just take them both over there and then I won't have to come back again. Oh, and it's full as well, that's a bonus. So yeah, just pull that out for now, drop it there, and then we can go and get the soil sample, which is there, in the shed. 
the front and uh, yeah, lime spreader on the back. You can just do it in one pass then pretty much. It, well it will need to be sampled first before we do the lime spreading because otherwise it won't know how much lime to put on but uh, yeah we can still take them both over there and then uh, yeah we'll sample first then we'll spread the lime but we can do it without having to come back to the yard which is good. Okay so I'll head back to the field get the saw sampling done and then spread it with lime. that wasn't that close we're on two percent lime left so we just about had enough to complete the field that is amazing i thought we we're going to run out there but we just about had enough two percent left wow it's one of the closest i think i've seen it but at least we got it done it's good so it's now ready for planting i think as it's already cultivated it makes sense to plant it with a planter rather than the drill um so we've probably put sunflowers in there and that will go towards the oil mill to uh, make the mayonnaise, which hasn't been going on very much recently because we haven't got any oil. So uh, yeah, that'd be good. I've got one small field of sunflowers here, and maybe another one somewhere. Oh, I think Dagwin might have drilled one last episode actually, on the hillside. Um, yeah, I think one of them is. So uh, yeah, we've got two fields of sunflowers, but it would, wouldn't hurt to have an extra one. The big one here is uh, corn. Dagrim was talking about doing that as a silage field with a clamp, but uh, we don't have one at the moment. And a few people didn't really think it was a good idea. Uh, the mower's taken my position for this. I wonder if we can squeeze next to it. Not sure. It's going to be a bit tricky, I think. I'm coming from the wrong angle as well to come around here. Unless oh, I should put it there, that's easier. <laughs> Let's put it in the shed here. There's a nice big gap for it. There we go. And then I can put the uh, saw sample out next to the mower here. It'll be easier. And then we'll get the palm tree on. If it's not in use, I don't think Dagwin's using it. Did he put it around the back of this shed? He's still doing his mowing, or not mowing, now he's uh, raking. Yes, here we go. So we'll get the planter on. And then we will put that field into sunflowers, I think. Now it's got not much seed in it, so we might have to refill that. I think there is some in the yard that I just saw. Also fertiliser, I'm not sure if we've got any. We might have. Looks like it's just seed. There's not much in any of these. <laughs> I 
There we go. So we're full of seed, but we do need more fertilizer. So I'll have to go and get that from the shop. Doesn't look like it's any here. So we'll head down to the shop, buy some. Whoa, nearly went in the river. Whoa. <laughs> that was close. We'll head down to the shop and uh, pick up some fertilizer. Unless I can find some on the route, there might be some here. Over here, is that seed or fertilizer or anything? Or is it lime? It's, uh, lime, I think. Lime and seed. So, yeah, we'll have to go down here and get some fertilizer and then we'll get on with the planting. Okay, so there we go, that is the field all planted now. So, uh, yeah, I'll take this back to the yard. We'll just need rolling, that's the last job. Bit of a boring job, I know, but it's got to be done really for the best yield. But yeah, at least it's got it's got the best uh, lime uh, pH level and um, fertilizer now, so that's good. Now, there is this area here which I'm just tempted to make a little bit of a track through here because it's not very obvious that there's a sort of gap here. I'm going to take this tree down. It's just a small tree so it can be done with a chainsaw. Well, all trees can be done with a chainsaw but we have our big log thing for doing the big stuff so it doesn't really matter about just doing this little one with a chainsaw. And it's one that you can lift so I can move it to the side. Now we can make a bit of a track. So I'll go into the landscaping and painting, gravel, and we'll make a bit of an opening here so that it's obvious that we can get through. It doesn't have to be a full track because it, we want to save as much of the grass as possible for the, uh, well, the grass, for mowing. Um, all this area, it needs to say as grass because that's what we're going to cut, but I just wanted to make a bit of a sort of obvious way through basically an opening. I'll do think to that. At least we can see where to go now, although that's annoying. Just another little bit there. And then we've just got that little stump there to remove. Next time I have the sump finder, I'll try and remember to do that. 
But yeah, that looks a bit better, doesn't it? Now at least we can see where to go through. It's the obvious route to take. So I'll take this back to the yard now, put it back where I got it from, and then pick up the rollers and get that fill roll. I'm not sure if I'll do it all myself or whether we'll get the, uh, the work to take over for a bit. Depends what other jobs there are for me to do. Dagoin just been doing something with the tally handler. He was looking for the pallet for. I thought it was at the yard, but it turns out it was that ship Baybury. I couldn't remember where I took it off. I've got a bit more seed, and I might as well fill this. Well, it won't fill it, but I might as well. Uh, well, it will fill it, but it won't use it all. Um, yeah, might as well put that in here. There we go. And then uh, we'll put this. I'm not going to get through there, am I? I'm going to go around the other side and put it. Oh, actually, no, I'll put it here against the fence. This is a good place for it for now. That'll do. And then we'll get the rolls, which are just right here. That's easy. So, yeah, I'm not sure what Dagoin's up to at the moment. I've really seen lots of him today. I know he's been doing the grass work. I assume he's bailed them and taken them for silage down at the um, salt point. He hasn't sold them yet though because the best price will be next month or December. Oh, he's over there, look, with the, uh, he's doing the lettuce pallets. And the eggs are certainly building up at the um, mayonnaise production. Yeah, we definitely need to pick up some more oil. I think this, this field here on my right, that's the first sunflower field to harvest. So that will go into the oil production. I think actually we've also got a canola field as well. It's the one next to the one we've been working in today actually, the long one. That's canola and that should be soon ready to harvest as well. So that's good, we'll soon have the oil production back up and running. There we go, now we know where to go. Nice little opening there to get through here. So we'll get the rolls folded out and we'll get this field rolled. and that is the field completely finished now thank goodness because that's taken most of the episode um, but yeah now we have a brand new field which wasn't even there when we started the uh, video and now it's a complete drilled and rolled field so quite happy with that good progress today with that even though it's only one field it's quite a reasonably sized field so uh, that's good and that will really increase our cropping area and overall profits so that's good so I'm not exactly sure what else dagoin has been up to today, you'll have to watch his video to find this out. Um, but I know he's definitely been doing some silage making. And he was doing something with pallets, because he had the pallet fork. 
Oh, he's drilling up there now. Drilling that field. So I wonder what crop he's going to put into that. I suppose that, that's going to be rolling as well now. So <laughs> looks like I'm going to be continuing the rolling. Uh, what, what's he doing then? Let's see. He's doing barley by the looks of it. Yeah, he's doing barley. So I'll be going into the uh, grain mill and eventually the bakery. Although that's going pretty slowly at the moment. We're out of oat flour. So the bakery, no, the grain mill, sorry, is only running sorghum. Well, that's not even on. Sorghum is, uh, is running there. Bakery is completely full and uh, obviously still doing bread production, but it's, it's going very slowly. That. But when we do eventually come to sell it, it will be good. Good profits, hopefully. Um, chickens, they could do a bit more feed as usual. Cheap, fine. Well, looks like I'm going to be doing some more rolling then, <laughs> since that's what Dagoin's up to. We don't want to be finishing the episode without rolling because otherwise we'll lose a bit of a yield on this. Get the rolls unfolded again. I thought I was done with this, but never mind. And we will follow on behind Dagoin. So that is field full roll now. Dagoin has finished and he's gone, so it's just me on my own at the moment. But it's, uh, the weather's deteriorating quite rapidly. It's now snowing um, and it's going dark, so I think it's probably time to end now. I did notice there was a couple of spots that Dagoin missed, but I think he's gone over them over here, hopefully. Which I'll just roll if they are. Where are they? There they are, I can see them. Only little bits, but I might as well roll them. Just roll them there. And that is the job done. So the rolls can go back in the shed, and uh, I will just check to make sure the chickens have been fed. If they haven't, I will feed them, and then that will be it for today, I think. So, yeah, the rolls will go back where I got them from, which is the corner of this shed. First them into that. You see banks are a bit in the way. There we go. Get it in here, hopefully. Just straighten up. Yeah, that's a bit of an angle. Just go straight like that should be okay. There we go. So we'll shut that down and just jump quickly across to the chickens, there we go, and make sure that that's, they've been fed, which they haven't, so it's a good job I did that, there we go. So the chickens are happy for a bit, and they're still producing their eggs, that's good, and it's going pretty dark now, so I think we'll leave it there. So I really hope you've enjoyed today's episode, it's been a bit of a field work day again, which is uh, obviously a essential part of farming, but it's got to be done. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one.